Hey guys, we're back in another video taking a look at some performance. We're going to be running the uh, Resident Evil uh, 5 benchmark. On uh, To my left I have a Surface 3 and to my right I have a Surface Pro 3. Um, the Surface 3 has the Z8700 Atom quad-core CPU. Uh, it does have the Intel, uh, I'm sorry, the CPU is at 1.6 gigahertz base clock and it does burst up to 2.4 gigahertz. Um, it's uh, graphics or GPU is an Intel HD 405 that um, has 16 execution units and it has a base clock of 200 megahertz and it does boost up to 600 megahertz. Um, to the right is the Core i5 um, Surface Pro 3. This model has 4 gigs of RAM. I'm sorry, the Surface 3 has 4 gigs of RAM as well. So both uh, tablets have 4 gigabytes of memory. Um, the Core i5 Surface Pro 3 has a base clock. Um, it's a dual core CPU with with, uh, with hyper threading, so it's essentially four threads. But it has a base clock of 1.9 gigahertz, and it does burst up to 2.9 gigahertz. Um, and it does have the Intel HD 4400 um, GPU, and that has uh, 20 execution units, and it has a base clock of 200 megahertz, and it does burst or boost up to 1.1 gigahertz. So um, the Surface 3 has an SDP of around two watts. Um, so the TDP would probably be around four to four and a half watts TDP, whereas the Surface Pro 3 has a, um, a TDP of uh, 15 watts. So that's almost triple the amount of power consumption. So All right, so we're gonna be running Resident Evil 5. Um, at 720p, pretty much everything uh, disabled. So VSync disabled, uh, frame rates unlocked, AA is disabled, motion blur is disabled. However, we are using shadow detail, texture detail, and overall quality is set to medium. So um, same thing here with the Surface Pro 3. And we're gonna be running a fixed benchmark. Let's go ahead and enter in here. Um, I have been kind of letting these sit for a little bit, um, getting them kind of warmed up because both of these tablets throttle considerably while gaming. So I wanted this to be kind of a, a real world representation of the performance. So we're going to run the fixed benchmark. And same time. Now, Surface Pro loaded faster, obviously, because it has a full SSD while the Surface 3 only has an EMMC um, SSD, so... Or, sorry, EMMC storage. The difference isn't huge from what you're seeing right now. It should be a lot a lot larger of a difference, but since they're both heated up, they're uh, the Surface Pro 3, the fans spinning up, and um, obviously the Surface 3 has uh, no active cooling, but um, it definitely does throttle as well. But the difference isn't huge once both are warmed up and both are, um, you know, seeing seeing pretty high temperatures. Alright, so the test is finished up pretty much on both of them. Let's see where we're at. Alright, the Surface Pro 3 is a frame rate of 42 frames per second on average, and the Surface 3 uh, did it in 33.7, so the difference is, is not that huge. Uh, obviously, this is just one game. Uh, again, both are heated up pretty well, so I'm going to be testing some other games, seeing what the difference is um, overall. But, but thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions, uh, about the video, just feel free to leave in the context, in the comments. Sorry, thanks.